Today we look at Eric Thames and break down his hitting mechanics. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So, um, if you watch any Major League Baseball at all this year, you know that Eric Thames has uh, been on fire. Um, he's got he got a lot of home runs. I think he may have double-digit home runs already. I don't, I'm not 100% sure of the number. I just know that every time I turn the TV on, he's hitting another home run. Um, obviously, a, a really great story. If you don't know his story, check it out. Um, you know, he's been over. He's playing for a little while and uh, back in the big leagues now and, and putting up huge numbers to start the season. Uh, doesn't seem like he can get out right now. So uh, I've had a bunch of people ask if I could uh, – talk a little bit about his mechanics I've gone and found some uh, some videos on him and been watching him here for a little bit I figure we'll talk about just a couple of things that I see that I find interesting and then um, you know let me know if you guys see anything that you think are really is uh, is really helping him out uh, in the comment section below and we can definitely discuss more I know he's a popular subject right now and a popular guy with all the success that he's um, with that he's having so let's go through a couple of the videos um, that I found online. A couple things that, I, that I've noticed when I'm watching him. First um, is, it's a good shot here on, on the left. Um, he's done a really, really good job on, especially on balls in, um, being able to get his barrel to the ball, right? So he's, he's really been able to hit, use power and, and hit for power to all fields. He's been able to get to some fastballs that have been on the inside part of the plate. He's been able to to suck his hands in and drink his lead arm and and get the sweet spot of the bat to the ball. And for a big, strong, power hitting guy, um, you know, sometimes this is difficult to do, and you don't always see this. Uh, but really, he's been able to use the whole field. And I've seen him now a couple times on balls inside. You can see how tight this lead arm gets to his body. So, you know, he's starting to turn here and he realizes I've got to get, you know, I've got to get in here and you can see the bend that remains in this arm. He really shrinks down and he's able to get inside to this ball, get the good part of the bat to it and really able to drive the ball out to right field. One drill that we do, um, that you know I found really helps our guys is we'll put we'll put two tees out there so we'll put a tee on the outside part of the plate with a ball on it and then we'll put a ball or a tee on the inside part of the plate um, with a ball on it so you'll have two tees ball on each tee the hitter is going to drive the ball off the outside tee um, but every now and then you're going to have somebody you know whoever find somebody to sit there and they're just going to yell in and you're going to have to adjust from that outside ball to the inside ball. So basically, you know, you'll get, you'll pick your foot up, you take your stride, and then right as you're, basically as your stride foot's starting to, you're starting to move forward, they're going to yell in, bang, you've got to adjust. If they don't say anything, you just continue to hit the ball away. So a good drill to be able to adjust on balls and learn how to kind of get that inside ball, make the adjustment, that late adjustment with your barrel, that's so important. Um, to be able to stay short and get in here on that ball. So cool drill. I'll try to throw a video up of it one of these days. Let me uh, let me move this over here a little bit. Kind of tough to see this one. So here's just the, the difference. Here's the ball away, and you can see how the lead arm will act differently. He doesn't have to shrink that lead arm down as much. He's got to stay over the ball. He drives this thing right here out to left center field. So he goes he goes right center. Bang. And then he goes oops. Left center. So again he's showing great power all the way, you know, all the way around the park. Here's a ball. You know, important part of, of being able to stay on the ball away is to remain in good posture. So you see, you know, we get to, we've talked about posture a bunch, but he gets in this posture here where he's got his butt out, his chest over the plate, right? 
you know, we talk about it. You know, we t tell our hitters that you want to act like somebody is grabbing you, you know, grabbing your belt loop back here and kind of tugging you up and back. And it's going to give you a feeling of, of getting your chest over the plate a little bit. So you can see how his chest is over. And as the ball is away, I want to be able to remain in good posture. Sorry, I'm moving this camera all over the place here. I want to remain in good posture over the plate the more the ball is away, right? If I come out of my posture here, what a lot of hitters do is they come out of their posture this way and they basically lose half the plate. So, you know, you put a line down the plate, they can't hit anything out here if you're a left-handed hitter. As you come this way, you know, it's physically impossible to be able to stay on a ball. So you've got to be disciplined enough to be able to stay over the plate with good posture. And that's going to allow you to stay on the ball and through the ball. So even, at, you know, through this ball right here, watch how his posture just doesn't change. If I make this line right here, watch. He's over that plate the whole time. Gives him the ability to stay on the ball, drive the ball to all parts of the field. Okay. So that's the first thing that I really see with them, being able to hit the ball to all all parts of the field, be able to make adjustments, fine adjustments with his, with the barrel, trying to get the sweet spot to the ball. Really, really impressive for a big guy. Um, the second thing is, and again, this is this is what you're going to see with all guys that, that really drive the ball, that can hit for power. We've talked about it in the past. We've talked about with Aaron Judge. We've talked about with Chris Bryant, with Mike Trout, all the guys, is um, using their body, creating angles to be able to get the ball in the air, to be able to get, you know, a proper launch angle, be able to get the bat in the in the hitting zone for a long time, working slightly up to be able to be more consistent to, to square the ball up more and be able to get a launch angle that's going to get the ball in the air for more doubles and, and for the big, strong guys like this to be able to hit home runs, okay? So, and you don't, you know, the interesting thing is you don't see as much of a pullback here, um, you know, with him. A lot of times you'll see more of a pullback, a little bit more length in the lead arm. Um, but what you do see, again, is you see the bat being launched back. You see the, the, the tilting of the body backwards, right? So here's that tilt. So it creates that little bit more stretch in the body, but also sets the body up to be able to get the bat working slightly up through the hitting zone. Right. And a lot of times, you know, you'll hear people say, well, he's dropping his back shoulder. You know, he's not going to hit a fastball. He's going to hit a fastball just fine. Right. So this is one of those myths that we talk about where people say you can't drop your back shoulder. You'll never be able to you never be able to hit a ball. You got to stay on top of the ball. You got to keep your back shoulder up. You got to swing down all that stuff, um, you know, and the exact opposite is what typically happens in elite swing. So. Know, two things really one you know we talked about with Aaron Judge if you watched that video if you didn't go back and, and watch that the, the one that we threw up but he gets himself this angle is a little bit tougher Let's see if I can get here's an angle right there it's a good one Boom. you know so if I draw a line right through him again and again this isn't the perfect angle but you can see how he's slightly behind center right you get forward you're going to swing down okay you stay behind that you stay behind that line slightly with your upper body and you launch the bat back, you're going to be able to create an angle with your body to be able to get the bat to work slightly up, to be able to get the ball up in the air. So you can see how everything is launched, again, back. Nothing is launched forward, right? Once I get in position, I launch the bat rearward. You see how he, nothing is coming forward, right? There goes the back shoulder working under. That railroad, whoops, sorry about that. That railroad tilt that we were talking about in the Chris Bryant and Mike Trout video. You can see it in all the lead hitters. And the body is working probably the opposite of what, you know, you've, you've been told by a lot of hitting coaches, right? Lead arm is working up. 
Barrels working back, getting on playing early. Bang. No more forward moving the body. Once the front foot finally lands, bang, everything's launched back. And that's what happens. You know, hit the ball 50 feet over the fence. And then you get to do this. This is fun. Now, this doesn't usually happen when you smother the ball down into the ground and get thrown out of first. Here's a cool view right here. We talked about the posture, but also a cool view of being able to see that, again, that separation, that tug of war going on between the upper body and the lower body. You know, we talked about it a lot in the Aaron Judge video. So again, go back and watch that. But you can see how the upper body is resisting, right? You see the hips opening, but the upper body is still setting back. So you don't see the hips and the shoulders opening together. You see a fight. You see that. See the jersey again. See that jersey getting tugged, right? So my lower body is my back leg is turning, and my upper body is is still pulling back. So it's like that band that you're you're stretching, right? You pulling you're pulling the bow back. You're pulling an elastic back. You're creating tension in the body. You're storing energy so you can hmm, release it. Right. When I watch young hitters that don't know how to do this, they don't not that you know they're not able to create a lot of energy. They're not able to store energy. Everything works together. Their shoulder and their hip open up at the same exact time. There's not there's no there's no separation in the swing. Right. Everything works together. But when you use your body the right way, when you resist with the upper body, you pull back as your hips are as you're moving forward and as your hips begin to open or as your back leg turns, that's where you get this. That's where you see this. And you put that in combination with launching the bat backwards, right? Tilting back and launching the bat back. And then you get this, you know, you start getting this type of power. And it doesn't help being, or it doesn't hurt, I should say, being a big strong dude but you know you don't have to be big and strong to be able to drive the ball like this if you use the body the right way even if you're a younger player you know when your strength and your size eventually comes that's when you'll become really really dangerous but don't wait until you know don't wait until you get to this point to say, okay, now I'm going to change my swing because now I'm bigger and stronger. If you learn how to swing the bat the right way, you're going to hit more line drives. You're going to drive the ball more, um, you know, because your path is going to be right. You're going to use your body the right way. And then your doubles, you know, if you're swinging like this and say you're only six foot, a hundred and, you know, 65 pounds. Well, now your, your line shots and your doubles eventually become, home runs when you be, become big and strong. So, you know, I, try to set yourself up for success and don't try to just win at the level you're at, you know. If you're if you're a 12-year-old player and you can be successful in Little League by just smacking the ball on the ground and running because no one can feel, well, it's not setting you up for success as you get older. So, you know, I'm always trying to show our players, no matter the age, I'm trying to build a swing that's going to last, a swing that'll be successful, not just at the level they're at, but the level they're trying to get to. You know, no one's aspiring to be, or at least you shouldn't be aspiring to be a 12-year-old all-star, um, but say, you know, 13-year-old, I, I really don't care. My my main goal is to be a 12-year-old all-star. I mean, the, the grand scheme of things, who cares about 12-year-old all-star? Like, you should be trying to build your swing for the long haul and to make you successful and to get you to the next level. Whatever level you're at, yeah, you want to be successful, but... You know, your main goal should be to set yourself up to get to the next level. That's really what it's all about. And eventually, hopefully, you get, hopefully you get to this level right here, you know. Um, you know, I think most people that are watching this, I'm not saying, you know, 
maybe not everyone's aspiring to be a big league player, but I know there's a lot of kids out there that 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 want to play at the highest level. So if you want to get there, you know, start building your swing in, in, in this mold. So, again, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Um, you know, if you see something that you want to talk about, just shoot it there and I'll, I'll, um, I'm always checking. We can, we can chat about it. Um, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And uh, shoot this over to all your friends. See if we can spread the word. Also, check out our Instagram page, Antonio Baseball, and my Twitter feed, Matt Antonio 9, where I'm posting videos all the time. Uh, not just hitting videos, we cover all aspects of uh, of baseball. I need to try to start throwing up more pitching videos. I uh, get a lot of pitchers yelling at me, so we'll get those up there. Um, also, check out the description box below where I put a bunch of links to uh, books I'm currently reading or have read in the past that I think are really useful, um, and also training tools that we use with our guys or I've used as a player um, back in the day before I was an old guy. Um, also, if you want to hit, if you want to do any lessons, you want to talk hitting, uh, check out our, our website, AntonelliBaseball.com. We've got all the info up there. Uh, or shoot me an email at Matt at, Matt at AntonelliBaseball.com. Um, you know, busy time of the year for me right now, but, you know, I'm constantly working with, with young players, high school players, college players, pro ball guys um, on their swing. So give me a shout if you, uh, if you want to do some work. All right, fellas, good luck. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later.